Chesapeake at 1425 North Trip. 1425 North Trip. Do you want me to take lead on this first call to give you a good example about how we do calls? Certainly. Or... Okay, I'll go ahead and do that. I feel like this ambulance is really struggling. <laughs> um, if you upgrade it, like I said, you know, whenever you get time to definitely upgrade it. It makes a big difference in acceleration. This is hilarious, though. Like, the first call you get is one of the most difficult ones <laughs> to get to. <laughs> Whenever you're driving off road, do be a little bit careful, especially around the hunting grounds area. The ambulance tends to bottom out pretty easily, and you'll lose complete control if it does. As long as you drive slow like you're doing right now, you're not going to have to worry about bottoming out or anything. You probably could pick it up just a little bit. Might want to just for this hill. An SUV would be very helpful here. It's an interesting truck. Alright, someone's flagging us down right behind you. They're over here! No, did you get the stick truck stuck? Oh my god, he's stuck! Uh, 833's on scene. Yeah, there we we'll deal with this later. <laughs> Clear. Negative. 33's on scene. Lydia. Uh, of course. He, he, he uh, said it in the same tone I did. Like, I know everybody here, so I'm not going to introduce myself. Now, uh, but normally I'd say, hey, this is Mike with the MS. Lydia, what happened now? Um, so, like, I was, like, running, and, like, there was a seagull, and I tried not to hit it, and I jumped over it, and I tripped, and I don't know. Alright. So, where does it hurt? Uh, my butthole? Uh, let's try again. Where does it hurt? Um, no. Uh, you wanna try a third time? I ain't going down there. So you can say butthole all day, but I am not going down there. I mean, if you want like an ice pack, I'll hand you an ice pack and you can slide it down there, but I am not doing it. Hand me the ice pack, hand me the ice pack. I mean, unless you wanna do it, Jay. You wanna do it, Jay? Yep, Alright, I'll, I'll give you the ice pack. There you, you go. You unprofessional. To volunteer? Listen, a broken oh, tailbone is no laughing matter. Yeah. I'm not gonna yeah, let my wife die because this medic is too alive. unprofessional. Uh, I do not... Right. I, uh, I don't. It's done there. No way. No. You got rubber gloves on. What's the big deal? Yeah, okay. Alright, slide over to Madison. Alright, you should... How, how can you laugh when you're injured? Morphine. <laughs> Lots of morphine. Laughter is, laughter is the best thing to stop. Pain is okay. funny, okay? Oh, okay. You just look for okay. catnip again, well. Mr. Whiskers. Hey, there he is. She's I do see you got some uh, scrapes kind of just all over your arms and legs. I'll go ahead and just disinfect that. Let's nice sting a little bit. Alright, there we go. I almost got confused. Which one was Michael? Holy fuck. Alright, let's go ahead and stand you up. There we go. Are you feeling better? Yep. That's good. Oh, still can swat. We're good. Yep, just don't, you know, bend too much. I don't want you to reopen your wounds. Just take it easy, and uh, you should heal up after a few days. Alright. Alright. You guys take it easy. Take care. Silently being no promises. By everybody okay? here. Hey, Ricky, you got your contender up here? Ricky, we may need to uh, mention a little bit. I even got something better. Okay. Wait, were you driving that truck? Yes, sir. Okay. That one's at the weed farm. You guys wrap like busy minutes. with that one.
It's not letting me drag him. It takes there he is. Sir, my name is Billy with the EMS. How are you feeling? So, uh, grounded. You feel drowned? Okay. What happened, sir? I was on my scooter. I wanted to check out what this marker was. I got off, went down a little bit, and started to drown. Okay. Well, it's good that you're able to talk to me, sir. Did you uh, ever lose consciousness? For a few seconds, yeah. Okay. I'm just going to check your pulse here, sir, at your wrist. Okay. Have you been coughing up any water? No, not really. Okay. Well, I'm going to help you stand up. Your pulse is strong. I'm also going to listen to your lungs. All right, sir. You've got... Uh, you got a good pulse, it's about 80. I'm gonna listen to your lung sounds too. Alright sir, your lung sounds, they sound very clear. Do you feel like you're having any trouble breathing right now? No. Okay. Hey partner, do you mind throwing him on the uh, pulse ox and also getting a blood pressure for me? I'm gonna set up for an EKG. Yep, I'll go ahead and get that going. Alright. Okay, I'm going to put these stickers on your arms and your legs. We're going to get a look at your heart as well. Okay, try to hold real still while we're taking a look at your heart. I'm going to feel the back of your neck and your spine. You uh, tell me if anything hurts when I push on it. Okay, pushing on your neck. You feel any pain there? Fine. Okay, pushing on the top of your back. Do you feel any pain there? Oh. Okay, how about the middle of your back or your lower back where I'm pressing anything? Nope. Okay. Well, sir, it's always my recommendation anytime somebody uh, swallows a bunch of seawater to uh, go on into the hospital and be evaluated there. Uh, would you like us to transport you to the hospital? Sure. Was that a yes? Thank you. Yes, thank you. Okay, do you have a particular hospital you'd like to go to? Uh, the one downtown? One downtown? Okay. Thirty-three dispatch, we've been on scene for about five minutes now. We're gonna be, uh, transporting one to shore and then transporting to, uh, Central Hospital downtown. That's clear. Uh, I'm, ready. I'm ready to go ahead and take him to the hospital. We can go on back. Thank you, thank you. You're very welcome. How, how you feeling now? Yes, peace. Okay. Anything changing between from when we uh, picked you up to now? Thank you. Yeah. Come over here to the ambulance, sir. If you want to follow me. Do you uh, feel like you're having any troubles walking or feeling dizzy? Nope. Give us just a second here, sir. Sure, this is my vehicle. I can just take my own vehicle. Okay. Um, so, here's the deal. I do need to uh, talk to you a little bit about uh, the refusal process. So, what I'm going to have okay. you do, sir, uh, give me just one second to finish doing this, and I'll get our uh, clipboard out of the truck for you. Basically, the gist of the form that I'm going to get for you, sir, says that we came and we evaluated you. Uh, it is our recommendation that you do uh, be transported by us to the hospital, uh, and that you are not taking that recommendation, and instead you are choosing to uh, transport yourself to the hospital. Uh, it is releasing the Los Santos Fire and EMS uh, Agency from uh, any and all uh, liability. Uh, from you transporting yourself to the hospital. Um, you know, the, the risks of that include uh, you could potentially be involved in a car accident on your way to the uh, hospital. Uh, you could pass out. Uh, you could have um, a delayed drowning where your airway closes off. Um, these are all things that we could uh, work to manage in the back of the ambulance on the way there. Uh, all that being said, uh, this refusal goes all the way up 
to uh, releasing us uh, from any liability should you die on the way to the hospital transporting yourself. So, uh, That's fine, sure, let me sign. Okay, sure, here you go. Come right over here and we'll have you sign this clipboard. Yeah, just put your John Hancock right there. All right, very good. And here is your copy of the paperwork. If you have any problems, uh, please don't feel uh, uh, any hesitation in uh, pulling your vehicle over and dialing 911 from your cell phone. Anything else I can do for you today, sir? Good. Okay, all right. Here's your copy. Take care. Safe. Thirty-three dispatch. We're going to be cleared with a signed refusal. We'll be en route to town for coverage. Near clear. Thirty-three. All right. Take a look at the take a look at the map and see where we're going. Do what? I'm sorry. Instead of running the bird over. 823, I'll go ahead and take that one. 33, copy. Okay, Jackson and Blessed. Um, probably the best first medical call from a trainee I've ever had. <laughs> oh, thanks. I appreciate that. Yeah, excellent. Um, yeah, put it like 200% in our know, role play. Yes, yeah, we're available on Loretto. Thank you. Should I feel like we're, we're on training part two, to be honest? <laughs> But yeah, I mean, you, you, you know your stuff. You know your stuff. If you want, we can stay on. But you're good enough to go on to the part two for training. That's 41. Okay. Well, what do you uh, so basically you'll see? 14 here on special duty. I didn't put my cell phone. Sorry. Metro from 838. Did you have traffic?